welcome students today i'm gonna tell you about uh, software and advanced simulation software known as model sim uh, this version is model sim 10.4 so first we will start here as uh, to start the project we sh will click on file and we will click on new then we will click on project and we will give uh, the name of a project uh we should give the name of the project as uh my xor gate and uh, we the library name uh, will be work and we will create a new file inside the project uh, we will create a new file and the file name will be my x or get and the file type will uh, be selected as verilog we should uh, we will click on okay and we will click on close now we will click uh, on this and open the edit uh, editor in which we will write our code to simulate uh, the logic gates now since i have already uh, written my code so i will copy paste my code here uh, this is my code uh, module xor my xor gate uh, i have given here three inputs and uh one output and i have created a module first of all uh, named as my xor and in which there are three inputs a b c and one output as f and i have assigned f the output value as a x or b uh and a x or b and b x or c so and uh, we have one module and now we should look at that uh, we will save this code and then we will compile selected and now here we can see that there still an error here now we should see what is the error the error was it was a capital c so now we shall see and we shall again compile selected and here we can see that our compilation is successful now we should start our simulation to check whether our code is working or not here uh, since our uh, default library name is was work and these are all of the projects and the f uh, present project on which we should click is my xor so work dot my xor uh, will be our simulation and we should start our simulation uh, this is the window which uh, which will appear so we will uh these uh, these are two three inputs and one output and we will select all of these and we will add a wave and uh, this is a type of sc uh, screen you can say on which all of the waves appear now in order to see uh, a b c as a one input we should uh, we will uh, group this and we will give the group name as input uh, we can, will click on okay now we will now if we see that if we want to uh, compare the, these three inputs and uh, show the result of our output so first we will give the uh, uh, input value of c as 
uh, as a period of first of all we will give as a name and uh, the period uh, we can see period here and the period will be first of all if we look at uh, these logic values and first edge if we want to start as the input 0 we will select uh, falling edge and if we want to start the input signal as 1 we will uh, select starting edge so we will then clock this and again we will uh, select first edge as falling and we will give the period as the double of the input C which was 200 and again and now we will come to uh, input A we will right click and select clock and we will triple this uh, double uh, the input of B which will be 400 nanosecond and the first edge will be again falling now we will start the simulation run length and we will give it a value of 400 nanosecond and we will then run the simulation as we can see here this is our simulation and now let's zoom this so we can see clearly what's going on this is our output F and the above three are the inputs if we want to compare that if we see that uh, in the first uh, between the first two lines that all the inputs are since zero so our output is also zero now so if we want to check rest of the outputs we should see the truth table the yellow line is used to compare all of the inputs with the uh, with each other and uh, see the output here uh, if we select these lines so we can see here the value of uh, the value here 1001 if a is 1 the rest of uh, and the rest of inputs are 0 our output will be 1 and now we sh uh, if to delete this no uh, we should leave it here and that's how we did our simulation